Today I'm going to talk about advanced blocks and uh, advanced blocks can sometimes be a matter of perspective. Uh, sometimes we take a symbol block and we look at it from another perspective, it becomes an advanced technique. Um, now we're going to look uh, at blocks that occur in some of, the, some of the kata, some of the forms, and they're a bit more intricate, but we have to look at them for what they might be. And that's not just necessarily, for example, if Alex comes with this punch, is a double block where both arms are involved in blocking a single limb. We have to change our perspective and use the other hand in exactly the same way, but applying it as an aggressive, an aggressive movement here, covering with the high hand. And if you notice from here, what I don't want to do is start the technique with my arms and then I've got to move my arms backwards and then forwards. So to do contrary directions with the same limb is, is really difficult. What we have to do is, is have this arm softer so as he comes, we can uh, float it back and snap it forward. So the arm is not bringing itself back. The arm floats back boom, and blocks forward. Another variation on the same theme. From here, uh, Alex is going to kick with a front kick now. This block is done quite frequently in more advanced kata. However, if we approach it in that way, we're very limited and of course we're using both arms for one leg when we could be using one arm for a hit, a low hit, while the other one parries. We have to be very aggressive and this is done aggressively in the advanced uh, forms. And that suggests to me that we're not aggressively blocking. We are attacking and as we attack, we're blocking and intercepting. So that's another variation on what's called uh, jujuka, which is, uh, which is cross arm block, um, using it as a block and a strike. If we move our body well, we free up the limbs and then we can uh, apply them spontaneously according to the circumstances. So for example, if Alex comes to the face with this hand, I can parry up and strike the elbow. If he comes with the other hand to the same target, I can parry up and strike the neck. So you allow for those variations when you're not making fixed positions, but you're moving from the center and letting the center come in here to strike one side or the center recognizes it can strike the other side. And this is the, uh, the intelligence of moving from the center. It has the ability to, to reflexively move without thinking. And uh, that's what makes uh, a basic block into an advanced block.